Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another No Money Spent video. Today, we're going to be knocking out some more of this feature program. Now, I've been seeing tons of comments where people are complaining about the length of the Roy Halladay program still, and I feel like it's not entirely warranted. Now, I understand a ton of you guys have jobs, you have wives, you have kids, you have school, whatever it is. I know a lot of you don't get to play the game nearly as much as, like, for instance, somebody like me. I'm aware, but the main goal here is to get Roy Halladay, okay? And as you see right now, I'm at 291,000 points. Uh, I'm I, I'm very, very close to this, this two pack of Ballins. Yeah, dude. And I mean, honestly, I've taken quite a few days off. I've been having some other stuff going on to where there you've noticed I've missed some uploads here and there. And I've also missed some streams. So I haven't really played as much as I have, but you can easily get a ton of, of, of XP just right off the rip. I wanna go over what I've done real quick. I've really not been doing my dailies, okay? I know I always say for no money spent, when you turn the console on, do your dailies. And if you're somebody looking for XP, you should be. You 1 million percent. But I'm gonna finish this program and I, I'm not really even stressed about it. I've, I've a little bit over seven days to get 500K. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not worried about it. Um, for, for people that are, are maybe panicking with how much they play, I think the most that you want to try to get is this 340,000 pack. This is where you want to set your sights. This is where you want to be because they did announce that next Friday will be the big boy collection one reveal. So that is coming. It's next Friday, along with what I imagine is going to be future stars for the next feature program. Looks like every team's going to get one. Super excited for that. But you want to try to get this free Takashi legend because honestly, these cards have gone up a little bit and I expect them to go up a lot more once people start locking stuff in for these collections uh so you're gonna want to take a look at that but again that's that's the marker point that you want okay so all this other stuff back here is just extra if you you, you would we love free packs with no may spin but if you don't get these five bundles here you're not missing a ton it's okay so again you're gonna set your sights on the legend card now uh again i would recommend doing your daily moments again i have not your feature program moments. I did do these. These took me about 20 minutes when they first came out and I knocked those out very quickly. The spotlight moments were just added today. Now these are 2K a pop each. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Another 20K right there, just from doing some moments. I've, uh, I, I, I did like one of them. So you can do them. I, I promise you they're simple, they're easy, all that good stuff. Collections, you're gonna come over here to the veteran series. And a lot of these you're gonna have that are no sells. Again, we like to make sure that we lock in no sell cards for collections, not exchanges, collections, because we get to keep them and they're no sell already. So for instance, Jimmy Fox, bam, no sell on that guy right there. Bob Feller, let's do that. I'm gonna keep all these other guys because I wanna keep the sub fluidity, okay? So we're gonna be looking for the no sell guys right there. No sell, no sell. No sell, no sell, no sell, no sell, no sell, no sell. We're good. Yeah. Bam. Lock them in and there's more XP. So now we're well over the 300K mark. Yeah. 301. Yeah. So make sure you do that. Again, that's collections. It's not exchanges. So you're not losing the cards. If you do the exchanges, you will be lighting these cards on fire. You can get a lot of XP, but you're also lighting stubs on fire. So don't recommend that. The holiday showdown I have not done yet. The Ring the Bell Conquest, I did do when it first came out. That's 30K experience plus the gameplay experience. So again, you're getting free packs, you're paralleling some cards, you're getting a lot of experience and you're getting gameplay experience. So I would keep that, you know, make sure you do that. Um, Doc Stethoscope, I just came out today. I just did that. That was very, very simple. There's like three teams you have to play. Very simple, free 30K, bam, right there at the gate. And then stay away from March to October because like, yeah, you'll get some XP, but it's long as shit. So let's go back up here to this Holiday and Friends Showdown, okay? I am very, very close to finishing it here. I have one more thing to do. My squad, I've been, I've just been playing through in here. My squad is looking like this, and I think that's fine enough to go and play the final one. So we're gonna do that, and we're gonna get the XP for completing the showdown. And then I'm gonna open more packs because I know you all like watching me open packs and, and all that good stuff. So we're gonna do that. All righty. The final boss against Roy. I guess, honestly, you could have just really stacked aggressively on lefties here. Or you could just hit the ball by missing the ball completely and it'll go. Oh, never mind. Still now. Never mind. Never mind. Thought I was going to freebie. Never mind. All right. This gold Delgado has been sick for me through these little showdown moments. Whenever there's a righty on the bump, he just absolutely hits taters. Except for right now. I, I, I'm a liar. I don't know. I, I hate myself. All right. What if I fail it right here? I can't get two runs in 18 ounce. Yo, Josh Bell rope. Yes. That'll be a double. Maybe 42 speed, get there, pal. Oh, they play it weird. Yeah, 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 yeah. Josh Bell, stand up, have a nice little double. Oh my God, I just killed Roy Halliday. Oh my God, bro, we just hit him right in the fucking head. He's, he's in pain. 
Did they resuscitate him? He was very obviously hurt. I've never had that happen in a showdown where like the boss gets hit in the in, in the in the face. Because usually they pull that dude right out of there. They're like, get on out of here. But no, nah, they. All right. They were like, hey, brother, just wipe some dirt on it. He was like, my fucking face is exploding. Ah, just wipe dirt. Okay. All right, well, hopefully I don't blister one right back at the poor dude. Let's do this. All right. All right. All right. What if it fell, though? What if it fell? Maybe. All right. Jonathan Scope. I'm hitting a tater. I feel it. I feel it. Three run shot. We're done. We're gonzo. We're going to open packs. I'm a fucking liar. I don't want to run on Harper with 42 speed. I, I guess I could have. All right. Well, lesson learned. All right, George Springer, too many effing outs are happening and not enough runs. Yo, Springer, that ball's mashed. For an out. All right, well, we tied it. Yay. All right. Yo, Roy, I love you, pal. I really want, I can't wait to play with your card in, in ranked season. Like you're an inspire, you're an awesome pitcher. I like you a lot. You were fun to watch growing up. But if you could just let me win. Oh my God, did he do it? Did you just have to compliment him? Thanks, Roy. I appreciate it. 51 speed. Yeah, we're in there, dude. We're good. We're good. There we go. Okay, so now we've completed the showdown. Roy Halliday and friends, I think is what it's called. It's done. Bam. Easy. Give me my XP. I think it's 20K you get for that showdown. I think. Success. Greatness. Yes. Yes. But 32, no, 3,000, no, 321,696 XP. So we've got, we've got the main lad. Again, chat, 200K, you can totally do this. I promise you, do the conquest, you'll, you'll have it. You'll have this card. Very, very simple. Again, we're trying to get at least here. It looks like we will. So we're very, we're, we're, that'll be fine. I'll, I'll save all these packs for another one. But again, make sure you're looking at your moments because these are simple, these are easy. Look at these moments too. There's 40K XP among all these moments. That's a lot. There's 3K if you do your dailies. There's the 10K collection, which again, you probably have a ton of these cards on no sell. And then the showdown, which is 20K, two, two conquests, which is 60K. That's a lot. Of, that's a lot of XP right there. And you're going to get the gameplay XP while playing too. So I highly, highly, highly recommend doing that um, so that you can try to get as many of these goodies as you can. Again, the 400K or the, uh, the 340K mark is where you want to be. You want this pack badly. Now, before we open packs, I want to show you some stuff here with collections. I have been grinding a little bit and I've, you might be going, where did all my stubs go? I spent some of them. I knew that we were, I've been talking about how we're going to have this collection coming up very, very close. And, and now of course they announced it today. Takashi, I went ahead and bought Mantle, Henderson and Vlad. Now these cards were about 18K. They're up to 28. I expect their price to go even higher once the collection the big boy collection comes out and these cards are starting to get locked in. Um, I think a lot of people are gonna be buying them. A lot of people don't know that they should be buying these yet. But like, for instance, I'm sad I sold Joe Morgan for 50K now because I want him back. Um, so that's where that's what I would recommend. I would recommend taking a look at these. Anything you feel like you don't have, like for instance, I bought Juan Pierre. I don't have Juan Pierre and I don't think he's going, I think his price will go up earlier today when I had mentioned that you're gonna need milestone cards, his price jumped up to about 25K. Uh, so I would recommend trying to buy as many of these cards as you can. Dontrell Willis at 46, obviously Clemente is part of the collection stuff. Zach Britton is 18K. Um, try to do that. That's what I would, I would highly recommend that. I'm gonna go ahead and actually lock in uh, Juan Pierre so we can get that ball and pack right there. Signature series cards. I went ahead and I got Brucey Bruce. He was super cheap. I've already had John Franco. I never sold him. So we're going to be rocking that. We have Michael Young. So we have three of these cards. Again, I would love to get Glavin. Just don't have the stubs. You see how he went from 80K to 117. Holy shit. Uh, Musina is a collection card, which I'm now even farther from because because Aaron Judge had become a 94 overall card. But we're working on it. Awards cards. I went ahead and I bought the cheap ones. I bought uh, Houston Street. And I also bought Will Myers because these are, I mean, when people are trying to get the awards voucher, they're going to be grabbing for these cards. Honestly, I really want to get David Price too because he's only 30K. We'll see how that happens. We'll see. Well, uh, maybe. Maybe I'm able to get him. I don't know. I got to find some stubs. Maybe get a good BR run. Maybe some events. 
all that good stuff so anyway that on prime i went ahead and i bought a couple like i bought brad hand and jack and al Eider. these cards were in the 8k rate or region when i bought them so definitely make sure you're taking a look at this usually you're able to skip one set for the big boy collection what like like you know like maybe you don't have the takashi cards you can skip takashi or maybe you have all the cover athletes or you don't have the cover athletes you can skip that usually that's how that works so i don't know how it's gonna work this time of course but like that's usually how it is you usually don't need everything from every collection but you need a majority so if there's anything that you're looking like maybe you're like wow i have no breakout cards you should probably try to find some no all-star cards same thing so take a gander at that but over here on live series collection i only have four collections left until i have randy johnson unfortunately aaron judge has become a 100k card i've made a mistake i should have bought him earlier so i'm gonna have to work for that i'm, I'm gonna have to find some stubs there same thing for j ram here uh j ram is at 100k card could have had both these cards at 20k i hate myself i'm angry i want to cry um but Tatis is still very expensive. I do have three Machados, and I know that he has become a 90. I'm hoping his price maybe goes up a little bit so that I can sell those for a better profit. So, Blue Jays, though, I think I've done these. Have I done all of you? Who am I missing? Who the hell's Casey Lawrence? Oh, boy. Okay, you know what? I'll get Casey Lawrence when he's cheaper. Maybe we'll pack him. I'm not going to spend 600 stubs on him right now because I'm, I'm really monitoring the stub count now. So, anyway, that's where we're at in collections. We are going to, um, I, I've been saving all my packs. So I admittedly did not play a ton of the event last event. I ended up playing till 12 uh, wins so that I could get the cards I needed, right? But I didn't get Trevor, I, 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 like I didn't play full through it. You know what I mean? This one I plan on playing full through, but right now I'm only at 10. So I got Trevor Hoffman, wanted to make sure I had him. Uh, but so I would, I would highly recommend that. Also, you're gonna notice under my face, there is a it's it's like cut out a little bit but it says eight wins uh gets you a diamond so if you feel like you can get, go eight and one make sure you're playing the event trying to farm some of those diamonds man that'd be sick uh there's some diamonds that are still going for you know higher you know some of the 85s are, are cheap but like some of the 89s are going for a little bit more make sure you take a look at them also you who knows you might find stuff you like to invest in you know a lot of people think justin verlander might go 90 get a free justin verlander the event by going eight and one so interesting little thing they've done there i like that a ton that's huge especially with the way they've they've kind of cut quick sell values but so i i've saved all the packs from this program and again we're right here at 322k all that stuff i haven't really done anything else i've done my tops now stuff i'm up to date on that 40 right there 40 points i think that's as, the most you can get right now um i've done the big dog stuff i've done everything but the kansas city royals one which i am eight points away and this i mean i'm as far as i can in that so i've done everything i really can i've done my conquest maps and i have amassed 70 show packs 11 ball and as a habit packs I've got some headliners a scouting report pack i know a lot of people are going to ask me how to do the scouting report you go to the shownation.com go to mlb's website and then link sign up for the emailing list for the scouting report that's what it's called and then once a month you'll get this scouting report pack now is it really different uh i don't know let me see one in 32 odds so technically these are a little bit better than a twitch pack so these could be even better like twitch packs are usually one in 34 regulars are one in 50 regular show packs so um this is all the packs i have amassed here we're gonna go through these here we're gonna open these see how we do hopefully good lord please let us pack some fire i know the last two pack videos have been kind of awesome but i am still in need of some stubs here and i would love to be infused with a nice little like a trout pool you know what i mean i'll get everything i effing want if i get that son of a bitch so I'm hoping that I get him, but we'll see what Ramon and company have for me. Vladimir Gutierrez is not a good sign. That's not, that's not, that's, uh, that, doesn't, that doesn't scream trout. Willie Calhoun. All righty. All righty. Where are the, like, where are the good cards? Tristan McKenzie. Now I do really like Tristan McKenzie as a player, man. I think, I think he's going to explode this year. I keep saying that I'm waiting on it, waiting on it, but we'll see. Give me more. I got a diamond, but it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a fucking jersey, brother. What the fuck? Okay. I hate it here. All right. Well, I got the Toronto Blue Jays jersey. Yay. Diamond count number one, dude. That's what we're screaming about. TJ Friedel, friend of the streams. I like him. He's good people. Keep going. Bam. Nick Heath and Grayson Janista. I'm a Braves fan. I'm not going to lie. If you had a, if you, if you had said, Demu, who the hell is he playing for? I'd be like, ah, I don't know please don't hurt me anyway 61 packs i need something we gotta pull at least 
a diamond or two, okay? We gotta at least get something juicy. I need it in the worst way. There's TJ Friedel again. They're loading me up on him. It's like the third one I've pulled already. Cole Calhoun and John Schreiber. I like the arms cross for Luis Frias. Fry Frias. That's how you say that. Dude's got guns. I like it. All right. Come on now. Give me something good. Bam. Nothing. Anthony. All right. Ah, please. Gold. Okay. Tyler Glass now. There's 1500 cell. All right. We'll take that. That's a gold. All right. Uh, Kikuchi. Nothing. Okay. Awesome. I really, I really need a diamond, brother. Or give me like, give me Catel Marte. That way I don't have to buy him again. Because I've been spending my subs trying to prepare for this damn collection that I didn't rebuy the cards I sold. Oh my God. There's a diamond. I believe. Okay. I need something good. It's purple. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. It's Trey Turner. He goes for like $1.43 now, doesn't he? It's Clayton Kershaw. Yay. All right. Well, there's the dupe. <laughs> uh, all right. So we found 8,000 stubs. That's that's cool. I, you know, hey, that's it could have been nothing. You know, it could have been that dude that I already forgot his name. It could have been Cole fucking Hamels in a Braves uni. He threw like a third of an inning for the Braves. How they got that absolutely pure action photo of, to, re, to, to really commemorate his time as an Atlanta Brave, I'll never know. I am shocked Jose Quintana only got boosted up to a 67 in this roster update. He's been actually disgusting. He's been insane. Like, he could be traded for a prospect or two at the, at the deadline, which is wild. I don't know. Keep going. Tommy Lestella, nothing. Jonathan Blowland. All right. I totally misread his name the first time. I'm not gonna lie. I thought I said Blowman. That's why I even went and started reading it because I was like, dude, his name's Blowman. That's fucking nuts. It's not. It's not. It's not. Keep giving me something. Alex Wood, nothing. 45 packs left. Come on, baby. I need more fire silver. Danny Jansen. It's not what I'm looking for. It's not what I'm feeling. Zach Thompson and Danny Vogelbach. All right. Bam, Anthony Rendon and Todd Frazier. I think he was born in New Jersey. I don't know. Bowden Francis. These are, these are not the cards I'm looking for, brother. Alex Vessia and I got a white glove. That's fun. I got, I got ghost, ghost. I don't know how to say this name. Austin Brewitt. That's who we got. 40, 40 packs left. Listen, I try not to put your names, but like, I here's the thing. I know that I don't know how to read, okay? So like, we're doing our best. Max Muncy, he's a silver now. That's an insane BR pick, by the way. Insane. What else we get? Okay, all righty, all right, nothing, nothing fun. I also don't know who the freshly add like commons and bronzes are. I know if I pull an Adley, that'd be sick because he's worth like 2K, but I don't know who they added all in this update. So I'm not really keeping my eyes out for this. So if I see, if you see that I pull somebody interesting, make sure you comment down below because I do go back and read those. And then usually you guys are able to find me some stubs that I didn't, I didn't notice. Uh, anyway, dude, am I not going to pull another diamond out of these, man? Oh, dude. Enrique Hernandez and Aaron Bummer. Okay. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not feeling any, any, any good shit here. Taylor Motter. That doesn't excite me. That doesn't warm my bosom. What else? Bam. John Curtis. Come on, baby. I need that sweet heat. G-Man Choi is a fucking legend. And if you ever disrespect him, I'll tell you what. Freddie Peralta. He's not bad. I like Freddie Peralta. I'm down with that. I mean, he's a gold. You never know. Long term, he could go diamond again at one point. Paven Smith. Alrighty. Neat. Awesome. Come on, baby. What did I get? Bam. Eduardo Escobar. All right. That's a dupe. I, I, I At least give me a bunch of silver and gold dupes so I can sell those. Not these bronzes. I feel like every pack has been bronzes and commons. Bam. Alex Wood and a shitload of commons. I'm upset. 24 show packs remain. Come on, baby. Bam. Tanner Scott. Fuck. All right. Give me, give me, bam. Aaron Fletcher, bro. <sighs> okay. 
I, I mean, I guess I shouldn't be complaining. I got free Clayton Kershaw, but like I already, I already have him. I'll take something else. I'll take, I'll, I'll, I'll take more. Give me packs, please. Gold Andrew Kittredge. Good Lord, man. I'll tell you what, dude, we are getting absolutely heck and hoed. Clay Holmes, who's been disgusting this month, if I'm not mistaken. It's either that or I'm confusing for someone else. We got two silvers. We got Nelson Cruz, big man, and then Trevor Stefan. Stefan, yeah, Stefan. 70 show packs. Come on, baby. There's a diamond here, dude. I'm feeling it. There's a Trouty Boy, Adbert, Alzale. I, okay. <laughs> trout. Give me Trout. Come on. Or I, I'll even take just Judge. I'll lock in Judge. I won't even sell him for the stubs. I'll lock him in on the spot chris archer all right okay nothing bam i'm upset maybe the ball in is a habit packs will hold something sick for me i don't i don't know do i mix in a ball in is a habit is are other people superstitious about opening packs like maybe like if you shake it up like open a ball in maybe that'll re re-roll the diamonds or something i got alcantara i can't believe he's not a gold to be honest and kirby yates 11 okay so maybe maybe these sh maybe the odds are shooketh it would appear not 10 show packs remain bam nothing wow dude holy crap this is like punishment because josh bell all right it's punishment because I had gotten a couple pulls in the last pack opening video. They were like, no more for the rest of the season. You get nothing, dude. Uh, Patrick Valaika and Aramis Garcia. Or, 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 yeah, Aramis. Yep. Anthony K. Anthony K keeps tweeting at me saying he wants this motherfucking smoke. Might have to play this dude. I might have to play him. Bam. Nothing. Dyson. I am getting a few gold equipments I could sell, but like still, this, this, this not really gonna boost the stub total a bunch. Four show packs, man, this was horrendous. Devers, I know a lot of people are pissed he didn't go diamond. He just, he doesn't have the power against lefties and, and defense doesn't help him. They're not gonna touch his defensive stuff anyway until like July, so. He's not gonna go diamond, I don't think. Unless all of a sudden he starts cranking bombs off lefties or at least some doubles. Michael Fulmer, last show pack, be Trout. Trout or Otani or something like that fuck all right we did our best brent rooker all right that's fun billy wagner's gonna be in this in this headliner chat i'm feeling it i'm feeling it right now kevin kiermeyer dude all right kevin kiermeyer by the way going for 126 stubs did you see that sick bam double gold i got peralta and mitch hanniger all right well that's cool give me a diamond Bam! No. Shit. Drew Pomeranz and Kittredge. I'm feeling it right here, dude. I'm feeling it. There's a... I'm telling... I'm speaking it into existence. Joe Musgrove. How did he not go diamond? <sighs> okay. Come on, man. Bam. Nothing. Michaelis. Man. I could not be getting... Remember when balling as a habit packs were sick? I mean, I don't. But I heard they used to be kind of cool. They used to be fun. Bam. Oh my gosh. Josh Tomlin and Walker Bueller, who's not a diamond anymore. Isn't that nuts? Feels weird to say. Four ball and a habit packs left. And I'm getting Francisco Lindor, also not a diamond anymore. Uh, three left. I'll tell you what, this feature program can lick my ass. Joe Ryan and James Karen check. It just takes one good pull to make me feel a lot better. You know what I mean? Zach Wheeler. Oh. Uh, I just need one, man. Bam, nothing. Wow, brother. You know what else I find impressive? I have done a ton of packs. I've opened a lot of them, okay? And I have not earned one single chase pack the entire year. You can find them in standard packs. I've not seen one chase pack the entire year. In Who are you, son of a bitch? It's purple. I'm upset. I'm upset. It's going to be Vlad. It's going to be Vlad. It's going to be Vlad. It's not Vlad. Oh, shit. It's Kevin Gossman. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Kevin Gossman and, and Clayton Kershaw. 
I'm gonna freaking puke. All right, man. Come on, baby. Give me some bam. Nothing. Nick Madrigal. Come on, baby. I need it. I put it in me. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, but back. To, I haven't pulled one chase pack. You can find them in regular packs, all that stuff. I have not gotten one chase pack. The only chase pack I saw on this account is that video that I was like, hey, you shouldn't buy packs. Here's why. And I bought a 50 bundle and proved you shouldn't buy packs. And I got a gold out of the chase pack. The chase pack comes guaranteed. You know what I mean? Like, where the hell Domingo Herman? All right. All right, dudes. Set 13. Come on. Give me some fire. Bam. Nothing. David Robertson, Luis Urias. All right. Next. Trent Grisham and Ryu. Braves legend, Adrianza. And then whatever the fuck this is. Is it a dog? I think it, I don't know. I have no idea. Anyway, Seth 14, give me something. I will take something. Damn, nothing. Manny Pena, rest in peace. He's hurt all day. He's all day, hurt all year. Bam, Nelson Cruz again. I got a diamond bat skin though. That's, yay. Come on, baby. Oh shit. I got a diamond. It's purple. I'm so upset. It's a, it's going to be Trey Turner. He's going to be a dollar 93. Oh, it's. Oh, it's Mookie. Okay. Mookie going for 15 K. He could go 90. Okay. I don't hate that. I like it. I'd like another though. Is that greedy? Austin Hayes is a gold. I didn't even know that. All right, let's go. Shabam, nothing. Max Muncy. I have five of whatever set headliner this is. Holy shit. Set 15? Who could you even be? Oh, Ralph Kiner. All right. Well, see if we can pull good old Ralph. I mean, honestly, the game should be wanting to throw Ralphs out there. Be like, please take a Ralph. No one gives a damn about Ralphie boy. I got Chris Bassett. Did they update his card art too? I feel like it's new. I don't know. I like it. Last chance at, uh, at, at Ralphie boy. Bam, nothing. I got Eduardo and Garrett Stubbs. The irony there is that I'll make no stubs off this entire, off this entire thing. I would love to pull the new Willie card. I'm not going to pull the new Willie card though, but it would have been cool for five seconds. You know what I mean? The cover athlete card, I'm going to take somebody that I don't have, preferably one of the most expensive, because again, I don't know if this is the set I'm going to skip. It might be. Um, um, we'll take Javi. Why not? I actually have three of these now, so I don't, you know, I will, uh, we'll see. Big dog set one. I got the base round. Oh boy. All right. We're going to take, uh, I'm going to take, I'm going to take Jack lighter. Cause I feel like the cell. Yeah. Quick sells 4,500 on him. So we'll do that. And then also the scouting report again, sign up on the show nation right here. The odds one out of 32 is an 85 or higher. We'll see if I get lucky. Let's go. Scouting report, scouting report, scout this ass. Bam, bam. Oh shit. It's purple. I'll take Mookie again. It's an Astro. It's going to be Verlander. No. Yeah. No. Man, Verlander's face looks mad fucked up in the game, huh? Doesn't look like him really at all. Kind of looks like it's stung by a bee. All right. Well, we got Verlander. He goes for 14K. A lot of people thought he was going to go diamond. So we'll take that. Honestly, there's two cards we can sell. Um, these rewind packs, everybody's always asking me who I should take, man. I, I, no idea. Okay. Because here's the thing. You should have all of them. So just take the most expensive. I don't know which card is going to end up rising in price. It's a shame. There's no prime cards in here because I would, I would a million percent expect that card to be more expensive. Um, uh, postseason cards could get expensive prime. Oh, there is a prime. I'm gonna take C shit. See what happens there. That's going to be my gamble. I'm going to have, I have two Nelson Cruises. I'm aware, um, but I'm going to see, I'm going to take another C-Shick. I'm going to see if that prime lad goes up, see how that does. So that's where we are. That's where I'm at in the program. And again, I 1 million percent think you guys can do a ton of this. Don't worry about the extra stuff back here. 
you got to keep in mind they do a nice little mix of creating content for people that don't get to play every single day and some people that do play every day so don't worry about this back here i wouldn't even really honestly worry about this although i would love to pull this david price that would just wet my appetite but try to at least get right here on this legend uh takashi pack right here that this is what you want this is the this is where you want to set your sights for a cutoff if you do more cool if you don't you don't play your events be kind to each other like the video if you enjoyed it of course right now do it otherwise tank will cry and of course subscribe to the channel if you're new i appreciate you guys i, I just got my 100k plaque it's right there so thank you for 100k that's like a fucking lot of people all right that's a that's a that's some would say that's 100k people you know so i appreciate you and i hope you enjoyed i'll see you all in the next one peace